Jesus said to his disciples, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. The person who loves their life loses it, and the person who hates their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me, must follow me, and where I am, there will my servant be also. Whoever serves me, the Father will honor me. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. And I would like to thank you for coming over for participating in our celebration today, and this is one of the most important celebrations also in the church. Why? Because we always profess every Sunday in our creed, we stayed we stay there at the end part of the creed and we said, we said, I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints and that was yesterday, and the forgiveness of sins and the resurrection of the body. You know, Jesus said that everyone who believes in Him may have eternal life and be raised on the last day, the resurrection of the dead. We are remembering today the souls of our faithful departed. Why? Because we believe, we believe in the communion of the living and the dead. Death ends a life, but not a relationship. Because it's very clear in our second reading, life was changed from mortal to immortal, from perishable to imperishable. Life changes, but not ended. Okay? It's only changed from mortal to immortal. And today, as we remember our beloved departed brethren, we remember them. Because we believe that <laughs> we believe that they are not in the graveyard forever. We believe that they don't stay in the graveyard forever. It is very clear in our gospel here, and this is the deepest desire of God. And Jesus said, Where I am, there will my servant be also. And the greatest desire of God is to take us with Him. Graveyard is not their final resting place. That's very clear in our gospel. The desire of God is to take us with Him in heaven. Three things I would like to share. Number one, the gospel speaks about the hour, the hour, the hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. The hour. Today, November 2, All Souls Day reminds us about the nature of our life, the nature of our existence. The nature is we are not immortals. One day, our hour. Our time will come. We are like a pilgrim on a journey, and this journey is temporary. Our hour will surely come. Like our faithful departed, we will also be remembered by others. And it is also reminding us that one day somebody will also write your names in. One day. Our names will be put here. Our names will be imprinted in the great stone. And we have always to remember that we are dust, and unto dust we shall 
Twitter. Friends, I always told you this one. The lifespan of a man is 70, 80 for those who are strong. The hour will come. It means we are reminded today, one day we will be gone. I don't know when is that hour, in what way. But it's very clear, our hour will come. We are only temporary. And second point that I would like to share. The second reading says, our life is just like a blink of an eye. Can you imagine that one? Our existence is just like a snap of a finger. That's why our second option of our response to Psalm is challenging us to live a righteous life because the salvation of the just, what's that was our second reading still in, uh, I mean the response to Psalm, the option, the salvation of the righteous is from the Lord. Ah, when you do what is right, when we do what is right, no torment will touch you. When we do what is right, our righteousness, a righteous life will be rewarded by no affliction, no destruction, no torment, no suffering in the afterlife. Our righteousness will speed up our arrival to our final destination. The salvation of the righteous comes from the Lord. And when we do what is right, we will live in immortal peace. If we are just, if we are right, kindness and goodness will follow us all the days of our life. And we will dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. Friends, Always do what is right. When we do what is right, it will speed up our arrival to our final destination. Not in the cemetery, but up there. Because when we encounter the Lord, it is no longer a procession towards the cemetery, but we encounter the Lord, it is an entrance towards eternal destiny and that is paradise called heaven. Finally, keep believing. Keep believing in the resurrection. Our life is temporary, but the life next after, eternal. Today, we have a span of life. We have a span but hereafter, next after, it is eternal. And it's either eternal salvation or eternal damnation. The way we live our life here on earth determines our final destination. That's why we are always reminded to do what is right. Right? is not only knowing but doing friends believe in god and put your faith or translate your faith into righteousness and believe that your belief will not be in vain because hope will not disappoint us my dear friends my dear brothers and sisters our god is like a good shepherd he is good but we have to do our part. Today, remember, life is very short. And I have to repeat it again and again and again. Since life is short, make the rest of your life the best of your life. The goal, our goal always every day, 
is to make our life a better person of today better than yesterday. Since life is short, live a memorable life. Since life is short, inspire before you expire. And the best way to inspire is to do what is right. Amen.